In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Vintage Collection Shadow Trooper. Hey there, Star Wars collectors. Welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Shadow Trooper. He's from the latest wave of the Vintage Collection. I believe it's wave 10. Cannot wait to get this figure open. As soon as I saw this figure revealed, I knew I wanted him straight away. And just thank you, thank you Hasbro for creating this figure on such a great card back. We're going to look at the card back in just a second, but I just wanted to let you know at the end of this video, I'm going to be announcing two things about the channel. One's going to be about a giveaway that I'm going to be doing, and one of them is going to be about a new series of videos that I want to be doing. So be sure to stick around until the end of the video, because one of the things that I want to talk about, which is the series, is going to need your interaction. So all of you that watch my videos and my subscribers, it's going to need your interaction, so stick around for that news. Anyway, on to the figure at hand, so obviously we do have the Shadow Trooper. We're going to take a look at the packaging right now. He is VC163, absolutely stunning car back. When I saw this one, I just love the green that they've used. It's sort of like a, a pea green, I want to say. You can see that they've used the slightly larger font size for the name pill. Yeah, so I think they have used this green before on characters like Bosk and maybe the Han Solo in Bespin. But usually when they use a green color for the name pill, it's usually the darker green of the, I want to say Death Star Gunner and maybe the Biker Scout. So to bring this color back, you know, I think it's been a while since they've used it, but this sort of, you know, lighter pea green type color, absolutely gorgeous, really makes that Shadow Troopers black armor pop out of that bubble. We have the Kenner logo at the bottom there. Obviously he's on a Star Wars chase because that is what they're doing with all the expanded universe or Legends figures these days. So we had the same with the Dr. Afra figure for example. They put them on that Star Wars chase which I'm totally fine about. As you can see there there's a image of the Shadow Trooper there. Um, now I'm not sure where they've got that from. It may have had to have been put together through different pieces of material that they've got and they've plonked them on some kind of background there. It's very difficult to see what that background is, but he looks absolutely fantastic. Obviously you can see in the bubble there, he does come with two rifles, one sort of bigger blaster and his one standard blaster. As I mentioned before, he's VC163. You can see some of the figures on the back of the card there that are in the next wave. So obviously we've got Princess Leia Organa Yavin, Sith Trooper, which I do have, and he'll be coming in another review probably tomorrow. We've got the classic Jawa, He's a repack of the Black Series, but he's been put on that fantastic original uh, Kenner card. So anyway, guys, that is the card back for the figure. So we're just going to crack him open and we're going to have a look at the figure. All right, then, guys. So here is the Shadow Trooper out of the packaging there, holding his smaller blaster. As you can see there, he looks absolutely stunning. Just looking at the uh, helmet sculpt there, he has some nice silver detailing on his eyes and on that nose piece there. You can even see little tiny dots of silver in his breathing apparatus there at the front and on those side vents there. Absolutely stunning looking figure. We've got some nice silver buttons on his ammo pouch there and obviously he does have this nice looking pauldron. Also we have some nice silver detailing on his sort of stomach area there and as we go down you can just see that he's pretty much just a black stormtrooper which is fine by me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly pull in the uh, regular Stormtrooper that we got on the Rogue, Rogue One card. So you can really sort of compare the two there. Now obviously they just have used the same sculpt completely and just painted this one black. Uh, but I don't really mind about that. We've been wanting a Shadow Trooper or a decent Shadow Trooper for a very long time now. Uh, the character I believe was uh, has been mentioned in comics and stuff for a very long time. But I think we saw him in the Force Unleashed game and also in the uh, first Battlefront game if I'm not mistaken but if you if you uh, know more about that let me know in the comments below and while you're at it if you do like this figure hit that like button uh, that really does help the video so thank you very much for that but I'm just going to give you a little rundown just so you can see all the detailings of this fantastic figure loads of detailing there hopefully it's coming out on the camera quite well because it is a dark black figure and obviously got the white background there so hopefully you can see all the detail that needs to come out of this figure obviously this figure is going to be amazing for people that want to army build you know I could just see these guys standing next to your death troopers and your stormtroopers 
nice shelf full of these guys would look absolutely phenomenal. So highly recommend you guys pick this guy up. Now I'm pretty sure that you could mix and match them a little bit as well. So if we just take his head off perhaps, let's do that now. Let's take his head off and take the pauldron off and then put the head back on. I'm pretty sure you'll have a nice variant there as well. So let's just take that gun out of his... There you go. So if you wanted to do that, you could potentially do that. This one does have a bit of a scuff mark from underneath that pauldron. I'm not sure if that's coming out on the camera there, but still, I reckon that's probably just a one-off on this particular figure. So yeah, you could make them look like regular sort of stormtroopers, but black, if you like, without the pauldron. But let's just put that pauldron back on over his head because he looks pretty damn cool with it on now in terms of the articulation obviously it's going to be the same as the uh, regular stormtrooper so the head is on a ball joint uh, the pauldron does restrict it slightly in movement but you can still pretty much move it every which way that you want he's got ball jointed shoulders ball jointed elbows he's got hinges at the wrist he even has obviously the diaphragm ball on his torso there he's got ball jointed hips he has a split at the leg he has knee joints and he has ankle joints as well and they all swivel and everything every piece of articulation that you're ever going to need and obviously something that we come to expect now from these vintage vintage collection figures absolutely stunning just see the detail there coming through on that helmet There you go so pleased to have this figure in my collection obviously i've got another one which i'm going to keep carded it's going to look absolutely stunning on the wall with all the other figures as i mentioned before that car back i just love that green that they're using it really just makes that figure pop now the figure comes with two accessories as i mentioned so we've got this big blaster here now really really nice blaster this one um i, I think it might be a t21 i never really know the exact details of weapons and everything but I I think I read something that it might be a T21 if I've got that wrong let me know in the comments I'm sure you will and obviously we have the regular stormtrooper blaster there as well so just to give you some details on there they're pretty much standard plain black they don't really have any paint job or paint applications on them at all uh, but they're the weapons so you can just see that in the light there I'll just get that other one you can see that better in the light maybe without that white background you'd be able to see the details of the figure all right then guys so that's enough of the review now as i mentioned i was going to tell you about two pieces of news about my channel so the first one is a giveaway now what happened was i promised to do a giveaway at 3,000 subscribers but what happened is i i hit 3,000, and then soon after 3,000, i hit three and a half thousand which was absolutely amazing had some a couple of really good videos I think one was the uh, Poe Dameron X-Wing did really well. Got a load of new subscribers from that. So welcome if you are new. So basically, I'm on my way to nearly 4,000 subscribers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a really good giveaway when I hit 4,000 subscribers. I really don't think it will be too long. So just bear with me on that and I'm sure we'll get there and then we'll do a, a really good giveaway. Second piece of information is that I want to do a new series and this one is going to need your participation. So... I'm thinking about doing a series called Ask Bosk Bounty and basically it's going to be a Q&A video where you get to ask me any questions you want in the comments section below and I'll read out your comment on a video with some visuals and answer them as best as I can. So these questions don't have to be necessarily about figures, they can be about collecting in general, you know obviously try and keep them, keep them Star Wars related but if you want to ask me anything to do with YouTube or um, other collecting things that I might be into, films, whatever it might be, what I think of the films, it's entirely up to you. Um, so I'm just going to leave that with you guys. If I get enough comments asking me questions in the comments section below of this video, then I'll read them out and answer them on my first ever Ask Bosk's Bounty video. And I'm hoping that it'll become a little series. So I'm hoping you guys will support me on that. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for the update on the channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, as per usual. And we shall see you on the next one.